so we have a new update available for evolution xos custom room and this is one of the only few custom rooms right now bringing you the latest android 16 and yes it's based on android 16 with the latest security update which is 5th of july as far as i know this is not official security patch because that was not released some issues were there not so sure but for now this is the update which we found one thing which is quite strange in this update i found is notification summaries like one of the features which is quite exciting is available and also this bundled notifications. I never saw this feature from a long time. I did not see this feature from a long time. I don't know if it is available on your device too, but you can go and report it if it is available. You can let me know. We have this sidebar option back with the latest Android 16. Now many features are coming. The features which were available with Android 15 from a long time are now coming to Android 16, which is a very good thing. As you can see, this is sidebar and it is available. If you do multitasking, if you launch apps in floating windows, this option might be very useful for you. It is available. You can enable it in the app section. Also with this new update, the font style font picker UI is also changed. Previously, in my last video, when I shown you this update was Evolution XOS was giving you different UI, but now we have extra font style customizations and we have that apply button already available in this case. Including this, we have a lot more extra options like status bar action chip is also back. What this is, this is basically like a progress indicator in status bar. And yes, of course, even if you download something from Google Play Store from anywhere, you will see the progress bar in the status bar. This might be a useful feature for many of you and might not be for some of you. So it's totally up to you. But this option is available. So just wanted to let you know. If you are looking forward to circle to search, yes, it is available and it is working fine. I am showing you once again that this is working fine without even updating Google Apps. So it's working default by default, which is really good. Also in lock screen, whenever you try to fill any pin, as you can see, we have a blur enabled here, which is a part of Android 16 QPR update, of course, but it's available in this case too. So it's good. Although it does not have many lock screen customizations, of course, some customization features are actually missing that might be added later on for now. Those are not available. And yes, if you're looking forward to play integrity, the option is available for you. So we have the option named as play integrity fix, which I will not recommend you. I'll recommend you to choose the key box XML option. So it's optional. And of course, some other spoofing options are already present like Play Store spoofing and Google Photos, unlimited backup. These are some options available in this case. You can use them in case you want to. Many users actually love these features. Some of the theming options brings you custom modern theming and also some already pre-installed themes. Notification styles options are also present, power menu customizations, lock unlock sound, fonts customizations and the previous related same options like icon pack, icon shape and so on. We also have the cloned apps feature available in this case. So if you want to clone apps, you can. It is available in settings apps option. It's available as a cloned app. So you can use it in case you want to. If you move on to security options, you will see the features are kind of same, but the UI is a bit changed. We have a tweak, we have some tweaks in this UI, like high developer status, no storage restrict, all these options that are now at top. And because it's the part of latest expressive UI, so that is why some tweaks are available in this case. We also have some other quick settings customizations, although no other customizations, no previous kind of features present so far that might be added soon. But the quick settings panel with the new UI, the new brightness slider, everything seems to be quite exciting and it's quite good. It's quite improved in the terms of stability. Evolution XOS is now getting quite stable as compared to some of the previous updates. So that's really good. And maybe with this new month, you might see some more custom rooms adapting to latest Android 16. We already have some boot animation customizations included. We have like cyberpunk boot animation I'm using. Resurrection Remix and some other options are available here for you. We already have the BCR named as basic call recorder included. So you can use call recording without announcement and so on. So yes, these were things just wanted to let you know. It's available for few of the devices. For few of the devices, it might be available unofficially. So if you want to check it out, you can. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.